Hey, um, so I wanted to talk about what I think is a change in the tires and balance of performance for uh, Season 3 2020 iRacing GT3 cars. This is uh, telemetry from a 488 GT3. It's my car of choice um, at Spa. So let's let's go to the map and just talk through. Um, basically, the long and short of it is um, they either I think they added grip to the tires and either cut power or um, made the arrow stronger. And I've only done this on one car. This is a car that I'm used to and I've um, I've kind of been able to set up and get comfortable with. So we'll have to see, we will have to see um, how the other cars do, how they react. But I just, you know, this is the one that I'm familiar with. So this is the one I can kind of talk about confidently. So first straight, this one, I guess, doesn't count. Or let me start here. On all the straights, I lost uh, about three quarters of a second. And I gained most of that back through the turns, especially the, uh, the faster ones but not top speed ones. So that's why I'm not sure if there's more arrow or there's more um, actual grip in the tire. Um, setup wise, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if I made big changes. Actually, no, let me not say that. Generally, I keep the wing maxed and I use the uh, shortest gearing so any changes between the two laps, um, the conditions are the same as well. VRS lets you use like a default um, condition against their baseline lap. So if there's any changes, it's stuff like spring rates um, and I guess ride height, but I don't really play with that. Uh, only thing I play with is spring rates and like dampers just to get the car to react how I want. So long and short of it, again, is um, I lost a good bit down the straights, but I got a good bit back through the corners. So I'll just show some of the straights um, where it's most obvious. So here we're looking at the speed delta um, on my new lap, which is a blue lap uh, with the season three, whatever they have going on, season three patch, we'll call it. I started one mile an hour slower, you know, we're flat down the straight and the straight three miles an hour slower. So just down this straight, I lost two miles an hour. Um, and that's just the straight heading into Eau Rouge. So down the big straight coming out of Eau Rouge Blanchemont, I think it's called, we start actually almost a mile an hour faster. Uh, but by the end, we're down almost four miles an hour. So I think that's like uh, five miles an hour lost total, something like that. Um, and again, I definitely, if I change the wings, the wing setting, it was maybe like one step down. Um, and from what I've seen before, you don't lose this much speed with that kind of uh, wing setting. So they've either added arrow or they've cut power to make up for the added grip of the tires to keep the um, keep the balance of performance steady. So looking at turn nine, so we can kind of back out here. You can see where we are. So, you know, we came down a long straight and then that kind of chicane, then that hairpin. Um, through turn nine, after a couple of laps, I felt conf confident enough where I was staying on the throttle later 
really not using the brakes much. I could probably get away with uh, no brake here. I did get on the power a little later, but if you look at the speed, I was carrying so much more speed through the corner, through the whole thing, almost as much as five miles an hour more. Problem is, once I got out of the corner, I might have been off my line. Maybe I was off my line and on the curb and kind of lost a bit of forward momentum. But, you know, I'm five miles an hour faster here, and then by the end, I'm basically flat. So that could be technique, but I think it might be a power thing or a um, drag from the added arrow because I'm doing like 100, I'm over 100 miles an hour at that point. So turn 10 and 11. Um, this might just be technique, but you know, I was able to get on the power earlier. I just took basically the same exact line. You can see here the line um, distance. That's like how far off the line you are from the benchmark lap you're comparing to. Um, so I stayed a little tighter and I was able to get on the throttle earlier, just carry more speed, um, carry more speed through. But again, by the time we get out to where we're like flat and, and really on the power again, I have as much as five miles an hour faster through kind of the apex of the corner. And then I'm down uh, two miles an hour by the end of what they consider this corner. So seven miles an hour lost at full throttle, uh, you know, despite starting out so much faster through the apex. So you can really kind of see the push and pull of the whatever changes they made. Um, another one, turn 16. Let me see what happened with turn 14, 15. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just crashed on me. That sucks. Okay. I guess I can edit that out. So this one was a little tricky. Um, this turn. Okay, here you can see in the old lap, the red dotted lap, I had to come off the throttle. That could have been just me taking a bad line, but you know, I was able to stay flat with the new, with the, uh, the new patch. Um, so I come out again, flat on the throttle. I do have to come off a little bit here. Um, but you know, now we're flat on the throttle. We're at the same speed, 116 miles an hour. And then within, I don't know, 400 feet, I lose um, a mile and a half an hour. Turn 16 is flat the whole time. We started down and, um, you know, we started that 1.6 miles an hour and we lose another three miles an hour just through this kind of flat complex. And, you know, I don't think I was off my line that much to make that big of an effect. Lose a quarter of a second just through that quote unquote turn. Now, here's a biggie. Here's a biggie, okay? This is turn 17. During Through this turn, I had to really tiptoe. And you can see the red dotted line is the old lap. I basically came off the throttle and like crawled through that turn. Now, here, this isn't even the full extent of what I can do. You know, I was flat through most of it. I got off the throttle. There were laps afterwards where I was flat the whole way through, really aggressively attacking the 
curbs and just taking the line that I wanted to take, not running wide. So, you know, part of that is I come into that turn with so much less speed, almost five miles an hour less speed. But I also think they fix something both possibly in this corner and also with with the car itself. So, you know, those two things really make um, this corner that much more enjoyable. You don't have to think about it. You just attack, attack. Now, again, since I stay flat, I'm able to gain time. I don't slow down like I did with the old lap. But by the time we get here, you know, where our speed's matched again. So I'm just not able to accelerate the way that I used to in the car. So that's that's interesting. And then um, turn, you know, the last chicane. This is more technique. You know, I'm not with a new lap. I think I, I didn't break as late as I could. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. You know, I'm back on the throttle basically exactly the same. That's kind of cool to see. Um, and I'm not too far off on my line. Um, so, well, towards the end, but this is a straight. So, yeah, there's there's a difference. Something's going on. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it's like a conspiracy or whatever. Uh, but I didn't see any notes about changes to the cars like the uh, tires or the arrow or balance of performance or anything in the notes I did see something in passing on reddit that they were going to um, do a tire patch at some point um, either with the big release or soon after so I guess they did it and they just didn't mention it um, but overall I think this makes the uh, 488 at least way more enjoyable to drive um, you can really just kind of attack and uh, I mean obviously you have to still have your good lines and and um, know the track you're driving on it's not going to drive for you but it just feels more like what you want a, f a GT3 car to feel like um, and you know it does kind of it kind of messes with your head when you're going down a straight and you are down a few miles an hour versus what you're used to usually but you know at the end of the day it's about the lap time um, so we'll see I don't know I haven't tested any other cars because I don't really drive uh, other cars that much but we'll see next week in races if the 488 is just getting demolished down the streets or if um, you know this is a universal change they dialed back the power and dialed up the grip or the arrow uh, for everyone else so very curious to see very happy with this change this is definitely gonna make um, I think it's gonna make GT3 cars a lot more enjoyable to drive and uh, you know I'm glad that they kind of acknowledged that there was an issue and they uh, addressed it um, you know the tire I don't think it was I don't think it was as bad as people make it out to be you know part of it is the baseline setup is terrible um, and that you know if that's your first impression of a GT3 car in iRacing that's gonna put you off immediately so I have VRS and I had setups to use, so that that was very helpful. But um, I think this is going to make a difference and make it a lot more fun for people. So we'll see. Just want to make a quick video. Hopefully that was quick. Oh, <laughs> I did a uh, first version that was 15 minutes, and this was another one that's 15 minutes. So I guess it is what it is. But um, yeah, we'll talk. Thanks. Later.